Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, I thought I'd have a little short uh, talkie today. I started a live chat but nobody showed up so I quit that. Uh, so I figured I'd make a little short video. You know, we was talking yesterday about those, I showed you those EVPs I got and uh, what I thought were a couple out of body voices. And you know something occurred to me since then and I wanted to put it forward to you guys and see what you thought about it. You know, I asked you guys to make comments on what you heard uh, on those EVPs yesterday. And it was significant. People heard all kinds of different stuff. Stuff different, stuff different than what I heard. And uh, it's not too surprising. I've heard that before. My son got into the paranormal a little bit uh, with me back here about a year or so ago. He lived with what is now with his wife, and uh, they were living in her grandma's house, and her grandma was old. And, uh, she was about ready to die. As a matter of fact, she has since then. But uh, she was in an old, old house. And my son told me he used to lay in bed and look under the, the bedroom door. He could see the bedroom door for where he was at. He used to lay in bed and look, look at that bedroom door and, you know, that light was on in the other rooms outside of their bedroom so uh, he said he could lay there in bed and see the light under the door and keep seeing shadows go by in front of the door. You know, he just, he'd be there looking at that crack you know, the light coming out underneath the door and, whew, you know, a black shadow would go past it. Grandma's too old to get out of the bed. You know, just him and his wife there in the same room. And so he used to sit there and watch them shadows go back and forth in front of that door all night. And they, I guess they had a lot of other weird ass experiences and stuff going on there too. So uh, he borrowed my, my one of my voice recorders and, and tried getting EVPs and stuff over there. And he did get, get some. And uh, he brought them over here and I, I did the same thing I did, you know, you normally do to them, try and bring them out better, and the ones that needed it, and so forth, and me and him got in a heated argument, man, I mean, uh, I would hear something, and he said, it ain't saying that, he said, it's saying this, and I said, you're full of shit, it ain't saying that, it's saying this, and we, we would get in heated arguments over what that EVP said, but it was perfectly clear to me, and he said it was perfectly clear to him. And he heard something entirely different than what I heard. So that has showed me that perhaps when you hear an EVP, whatever you hear is meant for you. We know how these spirits can change, you know, and manipulate the audio in order to speak with us. And you know, I don't think they're limited to that. I think they can change that damn audio anytime they want. Whether it's being recorded or after it's being recorded. Uh, now, <laughs> you may say that's crazy, but I don't think it is. Why would other people hear something different than I'm hearing? I mean, you know, I, maybe an EVP is a personal thing. Maybe that EVP is, is dried from their contact with you. Uh... And when you listen to that EVP, you're contacting with that EVP, the spirit who made it, and so forth. I don't know why this happens, but I have had this happen time and time again, where I will hear one thing and other people hear completely different things. Completely different. Now, I had somebody say that this one woman here says Anthony Quinn. I didn't hear anything like Anthony Quinn. Is that supposed to be the... Uh, Al Vin and somebody else hear Anthony Quinn out of that I didn't I heard how's this and that's a big ass change how's this from Anthony Quinn so so I make this short video about that and you know I, I have to do other things I have now, even when I was making this video the other day this short video I had to go and change it a couple times. I heard of initial uh, listening to it. I heard how's that and 
something, you know, whatever the other ones were. And then I went ahead and made a video like I'm making now. And when I listen to the video, I usually play the video back, make sure it, it recorded well and everything was okay before I post it. Well, the second listening to that, I heard completely different shit again on those EVPs. You know, the out-of-body out voice would stay the same. But the EVP, EVPs, they friggin' changed again. Now, you must notice, you know, I had an EVP within a recording. I, You know, I'm recording right now. But if I play an EVP, I'm uh, opening that EVP up again to a recording that they can manipulate. Think about it. Uh, I think anytime you record, they can manipulate. I don't give a shit if it's your EVP or my EVP, whose EVP it is. If they want to change something, and there's a recording going on, they can change it. <laughs> Just like they know all languages. They, uh, you know, speak to you in your native tongue. Somebody else, it might be English, but maybe you're hearing uh, Danish or like uh, Auric or whatever, you know. <laughs> Auric came back this morning and told me, they were saying all kinds of shit in that, in that thing. I didn't hear none of that. And he's telling me this and what they're saying in Danish or something. Maybe they, just want, they maybe just want him to hear that. I didn't hear none of that. So, I thought I'd make this video to let you people know that what you hear maybe is for years only and ain't for other people to hear. Now, I believe uh, Heather heard something different than I was hearing too. You know, like I say, I think maybe these EVPs are for the person that's doing them, not for everybody else. And if somebody else listens to them, maybe they're going to get something entirely different. Because what I heard wasn't meant for them to hear. So, think about what you want, what you may. That's the one of my conclusions I've come to. So, actually, playing these EVPs for you that I get, are, it's kind of a waste of time. Because... You're not going to hear what I hear. You know? Now, the out-of-body voices, I think I believe them are worth repeating. Although, the one that says, uh, Who's this? Or what's this? Or how's this? How's this? Somebody else said it said Anthony Quinn. I didn't hear no Anthony Quinn. I heard plain as day, how's this? So, <laughs> maybe our paranormal experiences are personal paranormal experiences they're meant for us they ain't meant for a group of other people to to uh, tell you what they heard it's for it, it, it matters what you heard if you're the one doing them so this food for thought thought I'd throw that in oh I forgot to welcome you to the church of the paranormal we got a bunch of ghosties here in church this morning you're probably in church too that's why I couldn't get nobody on a uh, live stream <laughs> So anyway, uh, have a good weekend. What's left of it? I know it's Sunday. I know Monday's coming. Just don't think about it. Those of you that still have to work, I don't work. Uh, it's a <laughs> One of the perks of being retired, you don't, you don't even think about that no more. But I know the people at work are thinking about, damn, it's Sunday. I don't want to go back to work. I know. I know. I know. But you got to. You know that. You love your family. You got to provide for them. So. Suck it up. You got to go back. <laughs> Catch you guys later. And, uh, yeah. Catch you guys later. I'm going to toodaloo you now. Toodaloo. Later. Bye. <laughs>